<laughs> Coach, can you just start off with an opening statement about today's game? Yeah, well, a uh, bit of a gritty game. Um, defended a lot. Um, had to make some uh, substitutions and rotations, and uh, but uh, a gritty game. And um, proud of the guys to to get a point and find a way to get a draw. Um, you know, a good early early goal, um, and and uh, that that took us for the most part of the game. But um, you know, can see the set piece in what eight minutes left, and you know, got a crawl and fight for the rest of the time. So um, really, really proud of the guys just to, you know, get through that. Um, and, uh, you know, at the same time, uh, just a tough, tough game and uh, credit to Army in terms of what they did. Ask away, Robin. Uh, thank you, Coach, for the opening statement. It's Robin Kim of the Daily Free Press here. And I think I just have a couple of questions I want to ask you. Uh, the first question, uh, Coach, prior to the game, uh, BU honored graduating seniors George Avenaugh and Zylan Balligan. How would you actually describe the veteran impact that they've had in the locker room over the course of the regular season? Uh, well, we don't have a locker room, so. <laughs> um, but no, listen, uh, George and Zion have been uh, great with the, with the group, um, just in terms of uh, how they interact with the guys and um, just being older, right? Um, and, and being able to listen and, and not always just talk. So um, today being a special day for them and glad we we're able to honor them um, uh, before the game as, as it's, you know, they've, they've represented uh, the university and, and the department and, and specifically the men's soccer program here. Um, and so that's, uh, that's what it's about. So really, really glad to have been able to be around those guys and, and they've had uh, a really good impression within the within the group, and we are comparatively a younger group. So it's been uh, it's been nice to see by the two of them. Uh, my second question will be this: uh, as you mentioned earlier in your opening statement, that uh, sophomore Ronaldo Marshall had a goal in the third minute of the first half, but um, now he's actually the team leader in goals with three over the course of the regular season. How would you actually describe the offensive impact that he's been having as a whole? Uh, for the team yeah listen goals center forwards that's that's one of their responsibilities that's one of the things uh that they're supposed to do they're supposed to score goals and um you know he, he'll ron will maybe not get mad at me but he should have four because he missed a pk against holy cross and so um really glad that he's been able to come in and you know put himself in a position to to do such um and it's a way that Listen, you don't see it the entire game, but it's something that we constantly talk about and just in terms of us in an attacking manner. Um, and so we played, what, four games. We've scored seven goals, I, I believe. Um, you know, so we're trying continually every day at training to, to make that a point in terms of how we play and how we train. And, um, you know, it's not just Ron. There's obviously service that, that goes into that, but um, he'll get the credit for being on the end of them. And uh, it, it's been good for him to come in this semester and, and find, find some confidence in scoring goals. Thank you, Coach. My final question will be this. Uh, after allowing a costly penalty kick in the final eight minutes of the second half, what were some of the adjustments needed and talked about heading into overtime? Yeah, at that point in the game, we didn't really need to make any adjustments just uh, just based upon how we were defending deeper um, at, at that point in Army, you know, had had the had the play. Um, it was now can we be really solid defensively within the overtime spell? And if presented when we get a chance or two chances, however many it was going to be, can we take it? And, you know, and it didn't really come didn't come clean there. Um, but, you know, for the guys to see out a game and to defend, um, you know, that was what we, we talked about and to see if we could nick one, at, you know, going into overtime. And um, it's a tough one because we were under it. We, had, we, we were down, uh, down players and, you know, we were physically at, at, a, at a tough moment uh, towards the end of the game. So, again, I, I'm really happy for the guys and the resiliency that they showed uh, in terms of, seeing out and, and getting an important point and draw. Thank you, coach. Thank you, Robin.
Coach, one question about Michael Stone. This was his first appearance since the season opener. What did you think of his performance? Yeah, right. He um, hadn't played in a couple games and come back and, and to play 90 is, is good for his confidence and uh, a couple saves, you know, one early on and, you know, good on corners to come out and, and, and try to take some pressure off of us in, in a couple of his catches. So, um, you know, his kicking was a little off today at, at times, um, you know, but I, I thought just overall uh, him to come in important to get uh, 90 minutes under him. Um, you know, got to look at the set piece goal um, again, but um, all, all in all for him to come in after being off and, and to give us a 90 minute performance and with a couple saves, it was, uh, I'm happy for him.